So most of us have heard of Higgs field at this point, which specializes specifically in AI VFX. But what you may not know is that they're constantly adding stuff all the time. Let's take a look. AI makes transitions between two pics look like a scene from a movie. Just pick one photo for the start and one for the end, and it creates a smooth video that connects them like butter on toast. Perfect for before and after examples, product reveals, or creating cartoons. So in this case, he's talking about the frames feature, which is available inside of Kling, Pika, Luma, many tools have this feature. So what makes Higgs feel different with the frames feature is that you can basically use the frames feature while also applying these different effects and transitions at the same time. In fact, let's check out their official update video right here. Okay, stop, stop. <laughs> Whatever you like. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. And to do it is super easy. You basically just go through, you have all these different effects to choose from. And so in this case, let's do the 360 orbit. And my idea for this one is I basically want to take this picture right here. It's kind of this cartoon version of Kira. And then she transforms into, you know, the real life version of her, or I guess the AI, <laughs> the AI real version of her. Um, and the goal is to kind of make the camera do a 360 orbit around her as she's kind of going through this transformation. And so all I have to do here is bring in the cartoon image of her there, and then I'll drop in the real version or the photorealistic version of her there. And for the prompt, I just said the camera orbits around the woman. I'll turn enhance off. This should be pretty simple and let's see what we get. And so after waiting for that, here is what we got. And yeah, I would say this came out pretty good. It orbits around her, she kind of spins around and turns into a real person. Now, to be fair, this did not work on the first try. I had to do it a handful of times because some of them came out uh, pretty strange. This one came out pretty good actually, but this one down here, um, you can see there's kind of a lot of weird stuff going on uh, in this transformation. So just like most tools, you know, it doesn't always come out perfectly on the first try. And as you probably guessed, the intro of this video was made with Higgs field. So all I did here was made a little video of me walking and then I took a snapshot of me when I jumped into the air. I put that image into Higgs field with the bullet time effect and I got that effect there. Then I generated this image of myself flying through the air and I used the frames feature with the flying effect and that's what gave us this clip right here. And then I just brought in this snapshot right here and used the morph skin effect to transition into this shot right here. But I think with Higgs field, there's just a limitless amount of possibilities here when you have access to all these different effects and then you can use the frames feature to make all kinds of awesome shots that you wouldn't really be able to pull off in any other tool. I'll have my affiliate link for Higgs field down in the description below if you wanna check it out. Next up we have Juan, which is getting a lot of attention right now. Let's take a look. If you're still paying for AI generators then you guys are wasting your money. Juan 2.1, the world's current best open source AI video model just released a new mode that lets you guys create unlimited AI images and videos for free. Just go to their website, type in your prompt, choose relax mode, and then hit generate. And that's it. Your high quality AI image or video will be ready in minutes. So coming into WAN, they do have a free option right here, which is relatively common. A lot of video generation tools have a very limited free option here. So it's saying you can process one video task, one uh, video task in the queue, up to one image task in the queue, and unlimited relax mode generations. Their next plan is only $6.50 per month, so that's actually not bad at all. But the question is, if we're using the free plan, how long does it actually take to generate a video? And I'm already seeing here that you have to have the paid version to remove the watermark and stuff like that. So I don't know how usable this is on the free version. We can see here that it does have a start and end frames feature. So similar to Higgs field and many other video generation tools, you can put 
in your starting image here and your ending image here. But unlike Higgs field, you don't have access to all the different effects that you can apply at the same time. But just for fun, let's try to go ahead and create the same exact video that we made in Higgs field and see if it uh, can do the same thing. Okay, so I have my two images there and I'm saying a woman turns around, the camera orbits around her. And after clicking the button, it is forcing me to have a paid plan if I wanna use that feature. So in this case, I'm just gonna do the single image and say a woman walks toward the camera confidently and we'll see what we get with this. Okay, so fast forward to about an hour later and we are still waiting. So to me, that makes the free plan basically useless. Now, one is an open source video generator. And so if you don't wanna use it through their UI like this, what you can do instead is you can come to Pinocchio right here. And Pinocchio is basically a free download. It allows you to run a lot of different open source tools. So you can come right here to Pinocchio, click the download button, go through that install process. And once you have Pinocchio installed, you can start using these different open source tools. So you would wanna come right here to WAN 2.1 and install this and then you can start using it. And this truly is unlimited and free to use because it will be running off of your own machine. Now, me personally, I've actually done this already and I ended up uninstalling it because it takes a very long time and the quality just wasn't that great. So it's okay, but personally, I'm not going to be getting rid of my Kling subscription anytime soon. So next, of course, we have to talk about VO3. Let's take a look. Google just announced VO3, the most advanced AI video generator in the market. And they've just solved all of our problems in this one because you can now upload a photo of a character and have it show up across all of your AI videos. And you can upload a photo of the background. And now you can have a consistent background too. You can also adjust the length of your clips and then click the extend button. And now it will extend your clip and you can even customize how the ending of your video is gonna show. Now you can completely dictate how the ending of your video is gonna be generated. The workflow for this is very simple you just upload the photos of the characters, objects, and backgrounds, and then it will apply that into a video for you. This is only available in America right now. So this is the first page here. All the hype is about this flow feature. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Right now, I'll just click create with flow. And here I'll click new project. And so once I get here, the first thing we need to do is come to the settings and we want to switch the model to VO3, highest quality. Next, I'm gonna come right here and switch this to frames to video. And now I can come upload my reference image. Now, the first kind of annoying thing about VO is that it only accepts a horizontal aspect ratio. So before I do that, the first thing I need to do here is come upload my image into design. And I'm a huge fan of design. I use it for a ton of different stuff. If you wanna see a full demo on this, I have a link down in the description if you want to check that out. But in this case, I'm just gonna to come to the AI editor and now I can choose a 16 by nine aspect ratio and click generate and so now it will just go ahead and fill in these margins and turn this image into a horizontal aspect ratio and so now we can see I have these different options to choose from I think I'll go ahead with this one right here I'll download this one and now coming back to VO I'll upload this new version hit crop and save and this right here has always been my biggest problem with using VO which is that it is ridiculously censored in order to fix this, I'm gonna come back into design right here. We're gonna to come to insert object. And I'm gonna go ahead and put Kira into this Moomoo since apparently wearing normal clothes is way too spicy for VO. All I have to do is add the reference object into this. And now in order to replace her outfit, I'm just going to paint, uh, I guess all over her entire body. For the prompt, I just put Moomoo outfit. Let's see what we get. Okay, and here we go. We got a few different versions here. I guess I'll go ahead with this one because this is obviously what you wear on a bright sunny day when you're hanging out at the pool. Honestly though, Design does a really great job of swapping outfits. You can see that it pretty much got this exactly accurate, taking the outfit from this image and then putting it onto Kira. In any case, I'll go ahead and download this one. And now let's see if VO can handle this one. I'll add it here, click crop and save. And once again, it is still apparently too much for VO to handle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and forget about image to video and let's just go ahead and generate an image directly in here. And let's type a fluffy, happy kitten. All right, there we go, kittens and butterflies. I think we might be on the same page with VO now. So let's use this image. And here I just said the kitten chases the butterfly. Let's see what happens. Okay, and so after waiting for that, here's what we ended up with.
As you probably noticed right there, another one of their big updates is that it will automatically add sound effects into the clip, which is pretty cool. But now let's come up to right here where it says add to scene. And this is really what all the hype is about right now. This is the flow builder. And so if I click this little plus button, I can either extend this scene or I can basically transition to a new scene. Or let's say I don't like the second half of this scene. Well, I can just go ahead and chop it down and I can regenerate the second half of this clip. So I'm gonna bring the clip all the way back to about here and I'll click the plus, I'll say extend. And here I put the butterfly transforms into a dog and starts chasing the cat. Okay, and so now you can see it's gonna start regenerating this new part of the clip. And so this is how you can create an endless sequence, getting exactly what you want and creating the story, making it play out exactly how you want it to play out. All right, so that just finished. Let's see what we have now. All right, so there you go. We didn't quite get the transformation with the butterfly, but you get the idea. You can basically just trim down and regenerate certain sections of the clip to get it to do what you want. So overall, VO3 is a super awesome tool, but of course you have to take into consideration what type of project you're working on and factor in whether or not you can actually generate clips without having too many censorship issues. So that's pretty much it for this one. If you want more info on any of this stuff, be sure to check the links down in the description below. That's for now. See you in the next video.